Bismillahir Rahman Nir Rahim. Exposition of the Holy Quran. By Alamaji. A. Perwes. Surah 13. Arad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alif Lam. تلك آيات الكتاب والذي أنزل إليك من ربك الحق ولكن أكثر الناس لا يؤمنون. 1. Allah Alim, Hakim, and Rahim says. These are the verses of the book based upon truth which has been revealed to you but most of the people do not believe. الله الذي رفع السماوات بغير عمد ترونها ثم استوى على العرش وسخر الشمس والقمر كل يجري لأجل مسمى يدبر الأمر يفصل الآيات لعلكم بلقاء ربكم توقنون. 2. Allah is He who has raised the heavenly spheres aloft without any visible pillars and He has control over the entire universe. He has subjected the sun and moon to function for an appointed period. 31. 29. He regulates affairs and has given clear signs so that you may believe in his law of mukafat. Three. It is he who has stretched out the earth and set thereon firm mountains and rivers to flow and has caused fruits to grow in pairs. The sun and the moon so move that the night gradually covers the day. In all these, there are signs for those who care to reflect. وفي الأرض قطع متجاورات وجنات من أعناب وجنات من أعناب وزرع ونخيل ونخيل صنوان وغير صنوان يسقى بماء واحد ونفضل بعضها على بعض في الأكل إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعقلون. 4. On the earth there are neighboring tracts with gardens of grapes and corn and palm, trees, single or clustered. They are irrigated with the same water yet some of them are more tasteful than the others. In these also there are signs for those who care to understand. أولئك الذين كفروا بربهم وأولئك الأغلال في أعناقهم وأولئك أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون. 5. It is not strange that despite such clear signs of Allah's laws of creation and development, people still wonder how they will be brought to life again after they have been reduced to dust. These are the people who do not believe in the laws of their Rab. They are so shackled by ignorance and conservation that they cannot see far. These people are and shall be the dwellers of hell. 
ويستعجلونك بالسيئة قبل الحسنة وقد خلت من قبلهم المثلات وإن ربك لذو مغفرة للناس على ظلمهم وإن ربك لشديد العقاب 6. It is due to their short-sightedness that we have given them respite to enable them to make amends but they challenge you to hasten the chastisement though the stories of earlier peoples are before them. The law of respite, notwithstanding their inequity, is a means of protection given by your Rab but equally severe is the chastisement from him which is sure to come. Seven. Those people who do not accept the truthfulness of the divine laws, in fact, do not understand the importance of the law. They say, "Why a miraculous sign has not been given to you by your rab?" They do not understand that your mission is to make them aware about the divine laws and warn them about the consequences of their wrongdoings. Moreover your mission is for all nations and for all times. Whereas a miraculous sign is confined to a particular period. Allah knows what you have to do with every one of you, what you have to do with your hands, what you have to do with your hands, and what you have to do with your hands, and what you have to do with your hands, and what you have to do with your hands. It has been stated that there is a period of respite between actions and their results. This is evident from the following examples. There is an intervening period between the conception and birth of a child. Allah knows what is in the womb and what is increased or decreased therein, and which foetus will reach completion and which will not. Nine. For all this Allah has laid down laws. He is the knower of the hidden and the manifest, the great and the exalted. من أسر القول ومن جهر به ومن هو مستخف بالليل وسارب بالنهار. Ten. It is the same to him whether anyone conceals his intention or speaks out his mind, whether anyone is hidden in the darkness of the night or goes about freely in the day. له معقبات من بين يديه ومن خلفه يحفظونه من أمر الله إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم وإذا أراد الله بقوم سوء فلا مرد له وما لهم من دونه من وال 11 Allah's law of mukafat encompasses human beings from all sides and brings all of their actions to their conclusions 82 10 to 12 And since a nation comprises of people the same law is applicable there also it should therefore be remembered that Allah does not alter the condition of a people until they bring about a change in their inner selves. 8. 53. And this change obviously takes place in accordance with their intentions, desires, and action. The law of Mukafat is so strict that when chastisement comes, none can avert it nor can people have any protector besides Allah. هو الذي يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينشئ السحاب الثقال 12 This law contains the possibility of both hope and fear just as lightning is frightful but brings with it rain bearing clouds also 
ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته ويرسل الصواعق فيصيب بها من يشاء فيصيب بها من يشاء وهم يجادلون في الله وهو شديد المحال 13. The thunder of clouds and all other forces of nature are busy in hamd and accomplishing Allah's plan. 24. 41. Only those are struck by lightning who do not take precaution according to Allah's laws. Yet these people wrangle about Allah's powers out of sheer obstinateness although he is mighty in his prowess. له دعوة الحق والذين يدعون من دونه لا يستجيبون لهم بشيء إلا كباسط كفيه إلى الماء ليبلغ فاه وما هو ببالغه وما دعاء الكافرين إلا في ضلال 14. Those who wish that their efforts should bring about constructive results, turn to Allah's laws whilst those who call upon forces other than Allah do not even receive a response from them. The latter may be likened to a person who in his thirst stretches out his hand towards the water hoping that it will reach his mouth while this cannot happen. Only efforts which are made in accordance with Allah's laws bring about good results. Mere supplication to forces other than Allah are rendered waste. ولله يسجد من في السماوات والأرض طوعا وكرها وظلالهم بالغدو والآصال 15. All that there is in the universe submits to Allah's laws. 3. 82. Things belonging to the physical universe submit to these laws through instinctive urge without any external coercion. 41. 11. Human beings also obey physical laws. They have no choice in it. For instance, a man may walk in any direction at his will but he cannot change the direction of his shadow. So far as divine values are concerned, it is open to them to obey or reject them. Those who reject them are eventually forced by necessity to comply with them. لا يملكون لأنفسهم نفعا ولا ضرا قل هل يستوي الأعمى والبصير أم هل تستوي الظلمات والنور أم جعلوا لله شركاء خلقوا كخلقه فتشابه الخلق عليهم قل الله خالق كل شيء وهو الواحد القهار 16. These are the people who believe in Allah's laws but only so far as they relate to the physical sphere. When you ask them who controls the universe, they will say as you do. That it is Allah. 29. 61-63. Then ask them. Why do you, then, look up to forces other than Allah which can not harm or benefit even themselves? Say then. Are the blind and the seeing alike or is darkness the same as light? 11. 24, 35. 19. Can those whom you have set up as peers to Allah create anything similar to what Allah has created leading you to think that they too could create as Allah does? Allah is the creator of everything. He is the only one possessing all powers. 21. 21 to 22, 43. 84, 6. 3. أنزل من السماء ماء 
فسالت أودية بقدرها فاحتمل السيل زبدا رابيا ومما يوقدون عليه في النار ابتغاء حلية أو متاع زبد مثله كذلك يضرب الله الحق والباطل فأما الزبد فيذهب جفاء وأما ما ينفع الناس فيمكث في الأرض كذلك يضرب الله الأمثال 17 Some may argue that if Allah has created everything why is it that there is evil along with good? The conflict between evil and good is necessary for the evolution of the universe. This may be understood by means of the following examples. Allah sends down rain from the heavens and this causes streams to flow and the deluge which follows sweeps away all the dirt in the soil. Leaving clear soil behind. Similarly, when metals are used for making ornaments or other articles of use, they are purified by being put into the fire which separates the impurities. And the pure remains. As a result of the conflict between truth and falsehood the negative forces pass away like scum but that which is beneficial for the humanity endures. This is how Allah explains his laws by means of analogies. 13. 39. 21. 18. 42. 24. للذين استجابوا لربهم الحسنى والذين لم يستجيبوا له لو أن لهم ما في الأرض جميعا ومثله معه لافتدوا به أولئك لهم سوء الحساب ومأواهم جهنم وبئس المهاد 18. It is thus clear that those who hearken to their Rab shall have all that is beneficial and those who do not do so shall. In the end, face a strict reckoning although they may be prepared to offer in ransom all that there is on earth and like of it added thereto. Hell, which is a wretched place to dwell in, shall be their abode. أَفَمَنْ يَعْلَمُ أَنَّ مَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ الْحَقُّ كَمَنْ هُوَ أَعْمَى إِنَّمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ 19. Reflect on this, is he who believes in the truth of what has been sent down by your Rab in the same position as one who is blind? It is only persons of insight who can appreciate this difference. Twenty. Those who believe fulfill their pledge to Allah and do not breach their covenant. وَيَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ وَيَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ وَيَخَافُونَ سُوءَ الْحِسَابِ 21. They unify the separate segments of humanity into a single brotherhood as Allah has asked them to do. 2. 27. They are apprehensive of their Rab that if they do not do this, they will face a strict reckoning. والذين صبروا ابتغاء وجه ربهم وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية ويدرؤون بالحسنة السيئة أولئك لهم عقب الدار 22. They struggle hard to accomplish the task assigned to them by their Rab and remain steadfast. 
For this purpose they establish the Nizam as Salat and keep available for the needy openly or secretly the means of subsistence which Allah has bestowed on them. They repel evil by doing good. 11. 114, 28. 54. جنات عدن يدخلونها جنات عدن يدخلونها ومن صلح من آبائهم وأزواجهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم والملائكة يدخلون عليهم Twenty three. For them awaits the recompense of a final happy abode, ever green gardens which they shall enter along with the righteous from amongst their parents, spouses, and offspring, and Malika shall meet them from all sides. Forty one. Thirty. Saying, Salamun alaykum. بما صبرتم فنعم عقب الدار 24 Peace be upon you for you have endured all trials with steadfastness How excellent is the final abode of these people والذين ينقضون عهد الله من بعد ميثاقه ويقطعون ما أمر الله به أن يوصل ويفسدون في الأرض أولئك لهم اللعنة أولئك لهم اللعنة ولهم سوء الدار 25. As far those who breach their covenant with Allah, and split humanity into factions though Allah had asked them to join them together. 2. 27, 13. 21. And create fasad in the land they shall be deprived of all blessings and shall have a miserable abode. Allah وَفَرِحُوا بِالْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ إِلَّا مَتَاعٍ 26. Keep it in mind that Allah has provided means of sustenance to all humanity but these are acquired in proportion to one's own efforts. This happens, no doubt, in accordance with physical laws and they rejoice in the life of this physical world. But the life is not confined to the physical world alone. In fact, this life as compared to the life of the hereafter is a mere trifle, of passing comfort. Provisions should therefore be distributed in such a way that all get according to their need. 16. 53,71 27. Those who do not believe ask repeatedly why Allah has not sent down a miracle to the Rasul. Tell them that Allah has bestowed freedom of will upon human beings and it is not his plan that they shall be compelled to believe. 25. 73. This is why a miracle has not been sent to the Rasul. Whosoever follows the right path reaches the right destination. <laughs> Those who believe and wish to have a heart free of worry, tell them that this can only be achieved by keeping Allah's laws constantly in mind. 
Those who believe in Allah in such a manner and act righteously shall have blessings of all kinds and shall live a most beautiful and balanced life. 3. 13. كذلك أرسلناك في أمة قد خلت من قبلها أمم لتتلو عليهم الذي أوحينا إليك لتتلو عليهم الذي أوحينا إليك وهم يكفرون بالرحمن قل هو ربي لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وإليه متاب 30. O Rasul, we have sent you to your people as similar Rasul were sent to peoples before them. You communicate to them the revelations we have delivered to you but they still do not believe in Raman who has revealed to you this book. 55. 1-2. Say to them. He alone is my Rab, there is no authority other than him. I place my trust in him fully and turn to him for guidance. <laughs> سيرت به الجبال أو قطعت به الأرض أو كلم به الموتى بل لله الأمر جميعا أفلم ييأس الذين آمنوا أن لو يشاء الله لهدى الناس جميعا ولا يزال الذين كفروا تصيبهم بما صنعوا قارعة أو تحل قريبا من دارهم حتى يأتي وعد الله إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد 31 some people think that if the demand made by unbelievers for a miracle is fulfilled, it might be good since it might cause them to believe. This is not the case. Even if there was a Quran whereby mountains could be set in motion, the earth traversed momentarily, and the dead made to speak, these people would still not believe. Allah possesses all powers to work wonders but this is not his way. Had it been his plan he would have guided all persons aright. Therefore, let not the believers feel frustrated that a miracle is not shown to the unbelievers. The unbelievers. The unbelievers will continue to oppose you until they engage in war with you which will be in the vicinity of their homes. Then they will be defeated and thus Allah's program will be accomplished, most certainly Allah never fails to fulfill his promises. 6. 7. 6. 25. 15. 14 to 15. 17. 90 to 32. All this will happen imperceptibly. During this period you will be mocked at as the Rusul before you were. Those people were also given a long respite and it was only afterwards that they were seized and overtaken by a severe chastisement. <laughs> أم تنبئونه بما لا يعلم في الأرض أم بظاهر من القول بل زين للذين كفروا مكرهم وصدوا عن السبيل ومن يضلل الله فما له من هاد لهم عذاب في الحياة الدنيا ولعذاب الآخرة أشق وما لهم 
من الله من واق 33-34 O Rasul, ask them. Do you set up peers to that Allah who is so powerful that he keeps a watch over every person to see what he does? Say to them. Identify those whom you set up as peers to Allah and then mark what it is that Allah misses which they point out to him. The fact is that these are all false contrivances of the unbelievers which seem fair to them and which have held them back from the right path. Those who choose to go astray, none can put them on the right path. For these people there shall be chastisement in this world to be followed by greater chastisement in the next. None should be in a position to save them from the grip of Allah. مثل الجنة التي وعد المتقون تجري من تحتها الأنهار أكلها دائم وظلها تلك عقب الذين اتقوا وعقب الكافرين النار 35 those who follow the right path will have Jannat as their abode the likeness of which is that of a garden wherein flow streams and wherein are fruits perennial and shades perpetual. This is what awaits the Mutakeen but what awaits the Kafirian is fire. 14. 24 to 25, 47. 15. والذين آتيناهم الكتاب يفرحون بما أنزل إليك ومن الأحزاب من ينكر بعضه قل إنما أمرت أن أعبد الله ولا أشرك به إليه أدعو وإليه مآب. 36. Those to whom we have given this book rejoice in what is revealed to you. 10. 58. But there are others who are displeased by some of the commandments sent by Allah. Tell them. Whether you like them or not, I am commanded only to obey Allah's laws and do not associate anything with him. To him I call you and to him I would also turn. Thirty-seven. Thus we have sent to you a code of life in the Arabic language. If after such divine guidance has come to you, you follow the desires of those unbelievers you shall have no friend or any protector besides Allah. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّةً وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولٍ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِآيَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كِتَابٍ 38. Regarding the objection as to why a human being has been sent as a Rasul, tell them that previous Rasul were also human beings and had spouses and offspring. Regarding the question as to why they are not seized immediately by the chastisement of which they have been warned. Tell them that chastisement comes according to Allah's law of Mukafat after the period of respite expires. يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتْ وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ 39. The basic law of evolution is that those species which acquire the capacity to survive remain whilst the rest are eliminated. This law, the source of which is with Allah, also applies to nations. 13. 17. 42. 24. وإما 
مِمَّا نُرِيَنَّكَ بَعْضَ الَّذِينَ عِدُهُمْ أَوْ نَتَوَفَّيَنَّكَ فَإِنَّمَا فإنما عليك البلاغ وعلينا الحساب. 40. As already stated. 10. 46. You, O Rasul, might wonder whether the end of which your opponents are being warned will come about in your lifetime or whether you will spend your whole life in these struggles. The end will come according to our law of Mukafat. Your responsibility is only to communicate the message with full confidence that they will be recompensed for their actions since it is Allah who keeps a watch over what they do. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا نَأْتِي الْأَرْضَ نَنْقُصُهَا مِنْ أَطْرَافِهَا وَاللَّهُ يَحْكُمُ لَا مُعَقِّبَ لِحُكْمِهِ وَهُوَ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابِ 41. They also ask when the Nizamir Abu Bayyid will be established in which the sources of production will be under administrative control of the divine order instead of being in individual possession. Tell them that the process has already begun. Do not they see how the land of the owners is being gradually reduced? This is the decree of your Rab which there is none to set aside and he is swift in reckoning. 21. 44. وَقَدْ مَكَرَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلِلَّهِ الْمَكْرُ جَمِيعًا يَعْلَمُ مَا تَكْسِبُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ وَسَيَعْلَمُ الْكُفَّارُ لِمَنْ عُقْبَ الدَّارِ 42. Like your opponents, in earlier times also many made concerted efforts to defeat Allah's plans. Allah knows what everyone is doing and your opponents will soon know what a wretched final abode is reserved for them. Forty-three. Those who discredit Allah's law say that you have not been sent by Allah since you do not bring about their chastisement, say to them. I do not wish to wrangle with you about the matter which will be decided according to Allah's laws and the decision will bear witness to the truth of my claim. Those who have knowledge of the book of Allah also testify to this.